at this collection of parts in front of me is the Fairphone 2, a new phone that's out this week. One of the main selling points of the phone is that it's so easy to take apart and uh, hopefully just as easy to put back together again. So Fairphone is really a movement towards more fairer electronics and we use the production of a phone to tackle individual problems uh, step by step and to really engage with consumers and producers worldwide to uh, create debate about what's fair. This is the first modular phone that you can buy. Modular means that if your screen breaks, you can easily pop it out yourself and put in a new one. Or say, if you want a better camera in the future, you can replace the one you have with a new one. Fairphone claim that this should mean your phone will last longer and so have less impact on the environment. When it comes to material scarcity, it's very important that we keep our phones as long as possible that to reduce the need to ongoingly produce new products and to source different types of virgin materials. Google's trendy Project Ara is also looking at modular phones, although they're yet to put a device on sale. Reassembled, the phone isn't quite as cool, I would say, as the Project Ara phone or indeed similarly priced phones on the market. I think that's partially because they've had to make it a little bit chunky to fit in that modularity and also the specs are kind of mid-range for something that comes in at 529 euros. But there's no denying that it is the first phone of its kind. Whether or not most people will want to fix their own phones though, it's the question.